Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Recently, Pop OS 21.10 has been released, also for the Raspberry Pi 4. So I downloaded it and I installed it on my Raspberry Pi 4. And there are some things that I needed to install um, well, one of the good things now is that Ethernet is working out of the box, so that has been fixed. I also installed hardware sensors indicator to keep an eye on the temperature of the CPU. And I also have a system monitor to, well, it's actually called system load indicator to keep an eye on the CPU and the memory. One of the things I installed is EXFAT because I think EXFAT at the moment is the most versatile and compatible file system especially when you're also working with Windows machines. So you can install EXFAT support with this command. I also overclocked So here you can see that the max frequency has been set to 2 gigahertz. And I can also show you how to do that. So you need to change the config.txt. So I'm just using gedit and I open it with sudo. So I just added an overclock section so I'll also put the details in the description of the video. So I set over voltage to six, the arm frequency to 2000 and the GPU frequency to 600. And there's also one more thing I advise you to do. So you can open disks and with disks you can change the size of the pop os partition so here you can see i already resized it to 64 gigabytes i think by default it's 8 gigabytes and especially if you're going to use it on for instance like in my case a micro sd card then it's probably better to make it bigger so just click on the clock wheels and then you can resize it so in my case it's already sized to 64 gigabytes with the slider you can choose a different size and I also added an extra partition, so that's why I cannot make it larger than 64 gigabytes at the moment. But I definitely recommend making it larger than the original 8 gigabytes. And I'm recording this on the Raspberry Pi itself with simple screen recorder. 
So that's all for now. I will try to do some more stuff with Pop! OS on the Raspberry Pi 4. But that will come in another video. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.